morning, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bat on X Summon Future Digibyte OG. So, guys, it feels like we're on to something here. It really does. And what I'm going to show you is what I was showing Julie. And she's like, you know what? Because I showed her unbiasedly because she doesn't know the charts. I said, Julie, if I show you this, just like this, right? Just this piece of the pattern, right? Just like this part. And you pull it out like that. So if you look at that with Iota, and then you go down to Doge or any of them right now that aren't at that part of the pattern. Now look at that. Now, when you look at Iota, it overshot like a motherfucker. You look at Doge, we're coiling up. Does that mean we're going to have one big overshoot? Or are we going to double top? Or am I completely not seeing what's going on here? Because I believe we might back away into more than I even thought. I mean, this is just a 50-50 chance here. But I would raise from a 50-50 chance to a 60-40 chance that obviously we're on the right track all day today. And, you know, late into the night and all this other crap. So... Like I was saying earlier with Zill, there was no way I thought it was just dropping off. There was It just couldn't fall off there. It didn't make any sense. So I think Zill is one that you have to watch because it was ahead of V-Chain. And now V-Chain's a good 7-10% ahead of Zill. So expect Zill to catch up to at least V-Chain, in my opinion. You know, at least get up to the $0.08 cent range. It looks weird with it that far separated at this point because of how they, close they were in the pattern price-wise. DGB, same thing. I would say be careful for DGB. You know, if this is going to pan out, be careful. It could be, guys, I'm telling you, this could end up being, oh, we consolidated again. Why'd we consolidate so much? Maybe IOTA, it's not that it's far ahead. It's like it jumped. Like IOTA did something like that. So when you start looking at it in that context... Does that mean we're going to overshoot our targets one last time and have like a massive pump and Bitcoin really is going to go to 42000 Because for what I'm saying to happen with these coins, you would essentially have to see a blow off the top like that. Is that what's going to happen? Is IOTA telling us that's what's going to happen? Because a few days ago I came on and I said, I think Bitcoin has to come up to 42000 But that was like a 25% chance at the time. Is that, I mean, the fact it's holding this consolidation and it's kind of forming another pennant flag. Something's going to give here and we're going to have to watch very closely, but the longer it holds that consolidation, I feel like something special is about to happen here. But I, guys, I've been wrong before and only a fool would say they've never been wrong. Just like only a fool thinks they've created everything first because everything we've done has been manipulated and done before. So, I try to do it in a creative way. I don't claim to know all, nor do I claim to be the innovator of anything. All I know is I give next level technical analysis, and I do what I see fit. So, be humble, guys. Remember, if somebody's imitating you, that's the sincerest form of flattery. And I see people imitate me all the time on YouTube now, and I fucking love it. In a good way. They might not even know they're doing it, but in a good way. I like seeing that because... That means things are being picked up. And then even people that have been bred through the community that I've seen, and they've told me they do shows, they've incorporated things from the shows, and I love it. That's the sincerest form of flattery to me, is if, you know, things that I do get incorporated. Now, we got Dusty's Outhouse Crypto News that would bash me, but, you know, that's okay. I, ma I actually made, at first it hurt my audience, but after, I actually have some really cool people that used to watch Dusty, and then now they've... They call themselves the transplants in here, a couple of them, so shout out to you guys. And if you want to comment and say he's not full of shit because there's actually some of us in here, because now my audience will be like, ah, he's full of shit. But anyhow, XLM, you know, that's what I'm saying, guys. Are we really going to overshoot? And are, Is that 34 cent? I'm telling you guys, <laughs> we have something magical in store. Maybe not 34 cents, but I mean, fuck. I keep looking at IOTA, I keep, I, my gut's telling me something big's happening and there's a reason why I'm in. 
So, I don't know. I just feel like we're going to get one big massive overshoot. Like, that's going to propel us into this collapse. I mean, it's really going to propel us. Remember what I always say? The higher the rise, the bigger the fall. The bigger the fall, the bigger the bounce. That's the last part of it. Because the bigger the fall, the bigger the bounce. Because then you get a bigger Bob's bounce. So, let's watch this, guys. I'm putting out an emergency alert. Not even an emergency alert, but I'm putting out a, a developing story alert. How about a developing story or developing news? Because this is... This is going to get interesting. Stay true, stay blessed. I'll be back shortly.